Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Eradicator Narukami deck profile for post Divine Lightning Radiance. This is one of the many Narukami deck that you can build from the latest Cardfight Vanguard set. A really, really awesome deck focusing on the newly standard format Eradicator, Dragonic Descendant. Uh, Descendant was definitely one of my favorite uh, Eradicator and Narukami cards overall. I love the artwork, I love the actual playstyle of the card, and the fact that we got this card finally in standard format definitely made me want to work on a deck for it that focuses on its playstyle. So I'll be focusing mainly on the support we got from the Divine Lightning Radiance. I know there might be some builds that mix it in with uh, Gauntlet Buster Dragon, but I think for a more uh, budget-friendly deck and one that focuses more on, you know, just uh, Descendants playstyle, we focus on just the support we got in this booster set. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the uh, Grade threes, I ideally want to run four Eradicator, Dragonic Descendant. I only have the three, still need the one more more to come in but I definitely like I said wanted to get the uh, deck profile rolling when you would ride this card if your vanguard is a unit with eradicator and its card name the card pl is placed with all of their abilities until end of turn so basically with this card being able to uh, gain the abilities of the Vanguard with a unit and the Eradicator basically makes it play off of the break ride skill that this card shared with a good amount of different Eradicators. We do have a good amount of different ones that we've had for a while now to work uh, with Dragonic Descendant, but I decided to focus on the one we have in the booster set, which we'll get to after uh, Descendant, but also on uh, Vanguard or Rearguard once per turn. You can Soul Blast one, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards, bind it, and your opponent chooses one of his or her back row rear guards and moves it open to a front row rear guard. So with this setup, you have the option to, you know, basically eliminate your opponent's front row rear guards, which is the play style of Narukami and standard, and also just being able to set up more for you to retire with some of your other uh, units in the deck. And the fact that this card works on Vanguard or rear guard, very, very useful there for sure. And on the Vanguard circle once per turn, when its attack does not hit, you counter plus one and discard a card from your hand to stand this unit, and it gets drive minus one until end of turn. So this last Skill definitely, you know, plays the most to the original Dragonic Descendant, having the restand power, but also just being able to focus on that restand for one less card, since I believe it was, you know, two cards you had to originally discard for it with a heavier counter blast also, but still focusing on the fact that it does not hit. You can go up against some pretty, you know, powerful units if your opponent gets uh, triggers early game, and then just make use of the restand with the additional drive check that this card will perform all together. And then with the new grade three that we received from the Divine Lightning Radiance pack, I am running four Eradicator Thunderous Beat Dragon on Vanguard or Rear during your turn. If any player's card was bound this turn, this card gets plus 10,000 power. So like I said, with the first skill of Dragonic Descendant being when you would ride this card, if a Vanguard is a unit with Eradicator's card name, this card is placed with all their abilities until end of turn. So basically copying all of the abilities of Beat Dragon. Very, very useful there, but also gaining the Vanguard skill when it attacks, counter plus one, and you get to an additional critical until end of turn. So that was the one thing that was missing from Eradicator Dragonic Descendant. The fact that also when you restand it with the original Dragonic Descendant, it gains the additional critical. But with Thunderous Beat Dragon giving us that power option, it's a big plus for sure. And just to have the fact that, you know, it won't attack, if, even if you don't boost it, if the attack doesn't hit, you can then restand it and then attack with that additional critical for sure. Given the fact that this is an Excel deck, you'll focus on, you know, the Excel markers and the front triggers but that additional critical power is the last of the pressure we needed for sure for this deck. And that is it for the grade threes. We'll now move on to the grade twos. I'm running four Lightning Whip Eradicator uh, Suhail with this one on rear. If it is on additional rear guard, it gets plus 5,000 power, which is the main play style of the deck. So very, very useful there to have that set up. But also on Vanguard or rear when placed, if you have a Vanguard with Eradicator in its card name, you discard a card from your hand, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards, bind it, and draw a card. The fact that it has the draw power making up for the card we discarded with this card is a big plus for sure, but that additional power makes up for the fact that if we'll go for Imaginary Gift Excel 2, giving us that draw power, and then having this card just be the additional plus 10 power alone on that rear guard circle, then being able to focus on our front triggers for that additional setup. But the retire power is a big plus for sure, since we don't have to use counter blast or anything like that. We can save those for the setup and restand of our Thunder Speed Dragon and Dragonic Descendant. And 
Ideally, I do want to run. I honestly thought I pulled more of this card, but what's great is we have so many different backup options for Eradicators in this deck, which I want to run for Eradicator, Plasma Catapult Dragon. I have Lightning Cannon Eradicator uh, Gong Sun in here as an option, just as a power boost unit, especially with the Grade 1 unit, which, like I said, you can even run this card if you prefer over this one with uh, Plasma Catapult Dragon being a Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards, bind it. If your opponent chooses one of his or her back row rear guards, moves it to an open rear guard, and then when this unit is placed on Vanguard, you draw a card. So it has good setup for the draw power, but, you know, Suhail does a pretty good job of that as well with its setup. This is just player preference being a once per turn. It doesn't have to, you know, be when placed for that option with uh, Gong Sung being able to eliminate some pretty good uh, rear guard columns and gaining additional plus power when Lightning Gun Eradicator Outban is in the same column as it. But once again, player preference, depending on what you want to run. Like I said, more budget option to run Gong Sung, but if you have the Plasma Catapult Dragon, definitely do give it a try with the last of the grade twos being four eradicator spark rays dragon on vanguard when placed this unit gets plus 5,000 until end of turn and then you look at the five cards at the top of your deck reveal up to one card with eradicator and its card name from among them and put it into your hand if you put a card discard a card from your hand it's the grade two searcher in the deck we also have a grade one searcher which is very reliable for just setting up more and more plays and on vanguard or rear when an attack hits a vanguard you soul blast one and draw a card so if we have the soul built up and haven't used it with let's say Dragonic Descendant. We have plenty of options with this card alone just to have draw power and pressure early game being a Vanguard or Rear Guard ability for getting cards into our hand. On all this card has to do is, you know, hit our opponent's Vanguard. I like to run four of it of this card. All the Eradicators we got in this deck especially work very, very well with the play style and power, you know, setup for Descendant. So running them all at max for playset is what I like to do. I took away from the grade one lineup, but still, it didn't really hurt as much. I still have plenty of consistency with the grade one searches, which we'll move on to now with our first one being for Ice Solution Eradicator, uh, Nusku on Vanguard or Rear, one place. Look at five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Eradicator card from among them and then put it into your hand. If you put a card, discard a card from your hand. It's the grade two search, just like our Spark Rays Dragon, being able to search for more and more cards. And the fact that this one reveals up to one Eradicator, it doesn't have to specify, you know, any of its grade. It's just that much better for the setup, just like Spark Rays, not specifying the grade, just having the majority the cards in the deck B eradicator means as long as we don't get any of the trigger units we'll be able to hit a good number of different cards in the deck overall and then I am also running, it was great, like I said, the majority of all these cards that I've run so far are all in the new booster set. I'm also running four Roaring Arm Eradicator, uh, Gasson, on rear when any player's card is bound. Choose one of your opponent's back row rear guards, and you may move it to an open rear guard in the front row. This is just more setup, since the fact that your cards have to retire an opponent's rear guard in the front row. Being able to focus this card as the option to set up more and more rear guards, your opponent may be hiding in the back row in the front row to retire, is a big help for sure, just having this card set up behind behind my vanguard or even just as a booster and then just waiting for my opponent to rear guard to retire and then take care of it with this card and then also for the uh, grade ones i also run four lightning gun eradicator oban if you have a lightning can eradicator uh, gong sun in the same column as this unit it gets plus three thousand power and when placed if you have a lightning cannon eradicator gong sun in the same column you counter charge one it saves resources on our uh, grade two uh, unit for gong sun like i said if we're gonna run uh, plasma catapult we have other grade one options in the deck you could try more copies of mighty bolt dragoon as a replacement for this card because if you're going to run your plasma catapult dragon and not have this in the deck then you'll just want some replacement card options for this card since you won't have any use for it in the deck with one being like i said just to increase the number of mighty bolt dragoon it's not an eradicator but still a grade three searcher so we can have the proper setup i'm just running the one as an additional searcher option we have spark rays dragon and also you know husku for those searches but still comes in handy and like i said if you have this card you can always replace this with it and then having the additional slot be either you know an additional grade three it could be a gauntlet buster spot or even i've been trying out you know dragon dancer anastasia for additional guard preferences there and resources and that is it for the grade ones. Moving on to the grade zeros being an Eradicator deck. I stuck with the new starter, which is Eradicator Spring Light, a Draco Kid. Very, very adorable Draco Kid at that. When wrote upon, having the grade one quick shield and draw power for your uh, Vanguard going second. 
and just the updated text so more easier for people to get as well. For the trigger lineup, I am running uh, four, ideally, Lightning of Triumph of Return, Recef, but I am trying out the one Wyvern Guard Goal just to have the draw trigger power. If you want to try full draw trigger, you can do that also. I know that's a little easier and more affordable for Recef to be the option, being the newest card in the booster set. You can even try two Wyvern Guard Gold and then uh, two Recef if you want to also for this spot. With the last of the trigger lineup being four Yellow Gem Carbuncle for just the ones available in the booster set and also for Exorcist Mage Linlin. I do like the front triggers. They add a little more pressure with our rear guard attacks all together in this deck. They have some of their own power plus units, but these are still very, very useful. And the newest heal being Dragon Dancer uh, Jarena. We didn't actually get any, you know, Eradicator triggers in standard format. So still making do with these. I still think it'd be pretty bust if we were able to add these searchers off of the Eradicator. Eradicator searches we had in the deck, and I think that's why they didn't give them to us. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. Still working on a couple other decks from Divine Lightning Radiance. I don't know if I'll make any more or not before the next booster set. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I definitely do want to work on maybe the Sorcerer deck from Genesis, so look forward to that. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Qualia out.